It would be so good in person 13 comp, but... All right, I'm assuming I'm playing versus uh, Rumble Top, right? It could be any top two, I don't know. Jared might be autofilled, who knows? Yeah, I would consider myself like, I think like 95% vegan. I occasionally have like cheese or meat like once a month. So I'm not 100%. This world needs hope. And I still use uh, products that might have animal stuff in it. So I don't think it's, uh, you can confidently say I'm 100% vegan, but I'm trying to cut down on my meat by a large portion. So that's why I'm like adapting this vegan diet. It's been pretty good so far. I've been discovering a lot of great recipes too, and I've been. Uh, depending on a lot of other things I like, like for example, I love uh, grilled mushrooms. Mushrooms are great. Yeah. Do you still consume honey? Yeah, I do. Yeah, honey and uh, artificial sweeteners I still go for. Thramor, thanks so much for the prime. Okay, did I get a message from I? Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, let me go ahead and send this code over really quickly. Without dying, hold on. Right, am I good? Yeah, I think we're good. Right, uh... Okay, cool. Oh, they satisfy a customer. Let's do this, guys. All right, so it's going to be phase rush. Phase rush rumble top lane. That's going to be hard to pin down. I'm not used to seeing a uh, phase rush rumble. How would he proc it? Um, R. So I guess an auto attack plus QE. Or he probably goes... Q he probably needs to land both of his E's if he's range and then Q. I'm just trying to think about how he uh, activates it. I don't know. Does Flame Spreader apply multiple uh, things of uh, Face Rush? Uh, it shouldn't. I don't think it should, but I could be wrong. So fighting uh, Rumble early is just not an option. His Flame Spider does too much damage level 1. I wanted to get level 2 there by going in, but I couldn't get to that minion in time, so we'll back off here. Again, guys, I take sorcery when I uh, have kill pressure. I'm pretty sure I can cover that in FAQ, so please check it out, okay? For context.
I have a hunch. I have a hunch that they're, they're gonna nerf phase rush in the future. I have a hunch they're gonna nerf it. I could be wrong, but I think Riot has buffed phase rush a little bit too much. I don't know if they're gonna buff it specifically for range champions, but I think they're gonna nerf it in the future. Again, I'm holding on to the potion in case I need no later. Lightning Dorn Shield doing most of my regen. Yeah, it, it's uh, really ideal to hold on to your potion for when you all in your opponent. Kind of a break glass in case of emergencies type of situation, so. Use Q and, Q and cleanse the slow there. I've got a second point in Q here. Okay, team's doing good, but Rumble is still alive. Careful, guys. Not level 6, though. I don't think he would attempt a TP play. I like Rugged, Rugged Garen. It's such a good skin. It's nice and compact. He's very slim. A lot of Garen skins are kind of bulky. If you guys don't like a bulky Garen, you want to go for this skin. Either this skin or Demacia Vice is going to be your go-to. Although some people are not a fan of Garen wearing tight jeans. So... Alright, he's got Seeker's Arm Guard. Fighting him is going to be really difficult. Yeah, he's, uh... He's definitely catering his bull towards me pretty heavily. Uh, why Berserker Graves? Uh, because I don't think I need any other boot choice versus their team comp. Because I can always go MR in different categories. Yeah, if anything, I would want to get Adaptive Helm as my MR item this game. Not Mercs. Yeah, his damage is lower. Oh, gosh, I almost got him there. Oh, I did get him. Okay, Pog. All right, well, um... So the person who asked why we got Berserker Graves? There you go. Got your answer. All right, cool. That's really good. We force his sums so he can't teleport bottom. And we're just going to back out.
Um, because of Evelyn being past level 6, uh, my ward in the river doesn't really matter too much except for Annie coming up. Because Evelyn is stealth, so... Unless Evelyn flags me from here, I probably won't know that she's coming top. I gotta be really careful. Yeah, my stuff is down too, so I'm probably just chilling right now. I gotta be really careful. He can all in me. Right, let's sell back up to like 90% health and then we can really go in. Okay, we're attempting some good trades. He's got no potions left. So I think we can whittle him down. Oh, never mind. I'm privately dead. Yeah, I think I might edge of that. All right. My bad. I didn't think Evelyn would come top as quick as she did. Probably just going for this, I think. Next dragons in two minutes. I probably want to shove him in so I can rotate down for that. His teleport's going to be down for it, I think. Oh, I'm probably just dead here. Had maybe a flash uh, play potentially, but yeah, because of Elon, I can't play as aggressive. The, the, just because I can't only ward one area and she can lane gank, so this makes it really tough to kill a Rumble right now. I have to basically play a tower and wait for her to show up. And I think because of Phase Rush, her left can't gank top either, so I gotta just farm this one out. Jungle assistance is too rampant. Really hurts too, because every lane is just uh, losing as well, so... I think we got coin flip for this one, guys. Yeah, we lose the tower as well. Oof. I think we took the game slower, we'd be able to win. I know Lux Zona is a pretty good combination bottom, but I think if they bomb it there early, that's going to be the factor in us losing, I think. Yeah, on top of that too, the Evelyn's taking every single objective. You guys have vision clearance on that? 
Alright, at least we do. I think coming down was actually a mistake. I'm probably gonna lose my tower now, I think. That was the correct play. Oh, he flashed after me. Okay. I guess I needed to flash earlier. Yeah, we got the Evelyn, but I couldn't escape from the Rumble, unfortunately. First kill versus Rumble was super good, but after Evelyn hit level 6, I had to forfeit the rest of the landing phase because of her pressure. This is how it is versus Garen sometimes. I mean, that's that's how it is at playing as Garen, you would say. He's got languages already before I can complete try. It feels bad. <laughs> Alright, I think we can't stay. Spear Fissage, huh? On Olaf? It's going to be helpful. Where would Evelyn be? That's the big thing. I don't want to commit my cooldowns until I see her. All right, she's bot side. Could I even kill the uh, rumble? That's the thing. I don't even think I can without sums. I really want the tower for try, but I don't think he's going to let me take it. Yeah, the Evelyn enabled the rumble too hard. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, why? Wow. She's up here already? That's so crazy. All right, she went straight from bottom all the way to the top. That is so crazy. All right, guys, careful for rumble. He's got his ultimate still, unfortunately, so he's going to be able to get the kill there. Yeah. I literally got confirmation versus Evelyn, and she came all the way from bottom to the top on that play. Yeah, I thought I had a bigger window, but apparently not. That's so crazy. I didn't think she passed immediately to the top like that. All right, guys, I can't do anything in this game. I'm just getting hunted. This is literally just get one killed and sit at tower the rest of the game. I need Triforce before Dragon. Alright, I got time for it. I'm gonna push this wave out. I think my next item is gonna be uh, Demons, because as much as I'd like to go for full MR this game, I can't do it, because the Draven is also fit too. I mean, Senna. Draven's right behind her, though. Yeah, they have mixed damage in team fights, so I definitely want to prioritize health. Demons will give me health and armor. So, we'll be okay. I'll uh, just sit on the mid. So we get 113 MR. I think that's gonna suffice for now. Alright. Yeah, it's, our build's pretty decent, despite us being behind from four deaths. All four kills from Evelyn. Feels bad.
Oh, if I just zone him out, that's all I care about. That's what, all I'm caring about. Oh, so close. I needed like one more auto, I think, to be able to get that kill. Okay. That's really big for me. Thank you. <sighs> it's not worth zoning out Rumble. I think it was pretty worth. All right, let's go for the tower. Yeah, I wouldn't be in agreement with Olaf, not because of personal bias, but I'd have to say that, would you guys agree that Rumble's ultimate's kind of game changing? We gotta be careful about that one. Luckily, any can't burst me, so we just get it. All right, we're good. I don't think I... Diana gets any silver gold off of that though, but it's okay. All right, guys, we're gonna go demons. Oh, wait. Oh, I literally have one second on my ultimate. That really sucks. I was EQing uh, for the Evelyn, but I needed one second. At my ultimate was down. I could have killed that, gotten the uh, Triumph proc, and killed any two, I think. But I was off by one second. Feels bad. The one opportunity where Transcendence actually matters there. All right, luckily, it's not too big of a death, but we got to be a bit more careful. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna say Rumble Ultimate's gonna be pretty strong in this game. Alright, I wanna kill Rumble. Yeah, I was setting it up so hard, but I just need to do one second on the ult. Fortunate. Maybe I could have flashed. I don't think I could have flashed for it, though. Because she would basically counter my uh, R with her R, and I would need Q to set that up. So as a result, I don't think we get it. I guess we just had the run. This Evelyn's been praying on me the entire game. I'm looking to get my revenge later. And we will do that by getting uh, Deadman's Sterox into Adaptive Helm to finish the build. I think that's how we're going to run it. So if I show bottom, they're going to know I'm down here. So if one person shows up, I'm going to assume that there's another person nearby. AKA Evelyn. Right? But would she go bottom when Baron's up? That's the big question. I don't know. Hard to say. Maybe yes, maybe no. <clears throat> He's advancing forward. I'm assuming somebody's nearby. Oh, I totally messed that up. Uh, I, uh... Because of the unit stacking, I queued the wrong target. I thought that, like, maybe my team would start bearing off of that, but I guess they can't, even with two people on them. So that sucks. Alright, well, I guess I gotta control wave down bottom and just wait for my DMP. Yeah, I haven't really had much freedom to do much in terms of a solo environment because of Epilon's pressure. Basically, pet comp, but even with my build, I'm just so fragile. Can't won't be too just yet. <clears throat> Rumble's ultimate's down, though, so maybe they can make a play off of that. Oh, I think Diana's gonna die. So close to getting the Draven. I needed one. Okay, cool. Go, good job, Sana. I needed one auto. 
I honestly just need to one-out on that. Does Sona get the kill here? She's got blue buff, so I think she gets it. Yeah, that heal? Yeah, it's because of the heal. That's why. She's got the blue buff. Alright, yeah, so Sona's late game is actually uh, turning to be pretty OP. Alright, note the self. Next time I play versus Evelyn, I just did a tower. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been camped so hard by Evelyn in such a long time, so I'm not used to the feeling. Why not I uh, build MR? Because unfortunately, there are super limited options in terms of MR items that amplify my target access. What I mean by that is that because they remove force of nature, unfortunately, I can't catch the Rumble or the Evelyn without building dead ends. Oh, that's really cool that we got the uh, Evelyn. All right, we're going, we're going for him too. Oh, this is such a big setup. Holy Frisbee. Wow, we got him. That was such a... Yeah, the Annie went in too early. Yeah, like, for example, I could maybe go for Wit's End, because Wit's End gives me 5% MS, but the thing about Wit's End um, is that unless I have a pre-existing tanky build, which I really don't, unless I get the demons, it doesn't add to my durability too much because I'm not creating too much effective HP. Yeah, Triforce plus Wit's End is not going to be a tanky build. So we could build it later, but uh, right now we got to focus on health. D-E-M-A-C-I-A for D-E-M-A-C-I-A. <clears throat> so we're going to build MR later. Actually, I think we could do it now. Let's just go for the adaptive home. And then we'll finish the build stacks. Yeah, that should be good. We can go adaptive home, stacks, and then wit's end. Could I kill him? He has no bonus armor, so I say yes. Someone's got to check that. Oh my god, the, uh, the shield. Okay. Wow. And the slow is that strong, too. He knows I'm here, unfortunately. Yeah, the face rush uh, rumble is pretty nasty. Okay, we got him. But I died to Evelyn. Maybe? If she ults to kill me, that's gonna be her option. Nope, she doesn't do that. Okay, okay. Let's back in a safe spot where she can't find me. Preferably here, I think. Okay, she's at Krugs, I think we're okay. I'm still gonna wait an extra second before I go back into the fray here, cause... I think she wants me. Yep, she's she's heading down. All right. That celerity really made the difference there. All right, this is good. Let's go adaptive home. Cool. Okay, now I should be able to fight Rumble, no problem. Yeah, this this item counters him super hard. So, and because they're getting several void staffs, I think we're not going to get any more IMR for the time being. Let's go for more health, aka get Sterox. Sterox is really good versus their team comp because when the shield procs, I get bonus tenacity. Really valuable for uh, the cluster bomb, which is a any. Take a peek. We go for a flank here potentially. Diana is not in the vicinity though, so we gotta be careful about this. All right, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, because we don't have Diana, I'm not gonna force it. We are turning this game around, though, because if we have three dragons, if we get that Earth Soul, we're going to be super primed to win here. My passive is a bit weak because I opted for the Adaptive Helm instead of the Spear Fissage, but it should be okay. Gotta take a soul. 
The concern I have is that my team uh, started a fight without me rotating first, and I'm concerned that they're just going to lose at that point, but I think at this uh, section we're just going to go ahead and push, because by the time I get to them, the team fight's going to be decided anyway. Yeah, th uh, yeah, we're just going to break into their base. So, um, how the builds going to pan out is we're going to end the game with 30% CDR, which won't be too bad. I think 30% is fine. But yeah, I think the what's in late game is going to be really nice. Oh, that sucks. Alright, I want to take this tower before Andy shows up, so... Using our abilities on cooldown to prox bubbling. Not really too worried about any. Okay, I gotta run on that. Yeah, I can't stay. I probably should have held on Ignite. It's okay. Pretty tanky. Okay, she's on death timer. I'm probably gonna die here, but... Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I got their smite on death timer, which means they get to take this all. So that's perfectly fine. Don't mind that. That's really enabling for us because the chances of us getting... Okay, yep, the chances of us getting out smited by Olaf's uh, level 17 smite is very low. And they could probably go for Baron after because Evelyn's still on death timer. So that could be a good force. <clears throat> okay, cool. I don't get Baron, but my team does. Uh, they're engaging. Evelyn's alive. They gotta be careful. Don't chase into base. Evelyn's alive, guys. Careful, careful, careful. Don't chase into base. Yeah, just fight outside because Evelyn's going to be intercepting. Oh, I think that... Oh, yeah. Her, her, her ultimate's still down. Yeah, so that we, yeah, we got it. Good stuff, team. All right, I got messed up in linear phase, but we recovered pretty hard. Yep, let's go ahead and end it. I got the wave here. Demacia, baby. All right, Gigi. I think triple AP was might have might have been a mistake. Yeah. I don't see too many competitive teams running triple AP. I, I don't feel competitive too much, but I know the games that I've watched competitively, you almost never see a team comp running uh, triple AP. The reason being is that like unless you're picking very specific. Age champions, like building MR in health is really powerful versus like mages because they need to like say for example you're dealing with a target that has 3.5k HP and uh has like 150 to 200 MR. You are not going to burst that person in one rotation unless you're like a zero Cassidy or something like that. Um, even Cassidy would probably have to go through a second rotation to kill. Yeah. They don't carry as hard as like late game AD carries or ADCs, for example, like maybe like a uh, Bruiser or a Camille with five or six items, right? Yeah, I think like the more... Uh, I know this is like really stupid to say, but like obviously like it's common to say like the more mages you have on a team, the more MR counters you. But I think mages 